This series that we're presenting here at this time deals with a topic called the Emerging Church, four-part series. In our first session, we looked at man's spiritual journey, past, present, and future, an overview from a biblical perspective of man's journey, spiritual journey. And in our second session, we dealt with the emerging church relating to the topic of how Christianity is being drawn down a road towards Roman Catholicism, the road to Rome. Part three is a topic I titled Road to Babylon. And as we have done in the previous two sessions, we begin with Scripture. This time to the book of Revelation, chapter 17, beginning in verse 1. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither. I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away into the spirit, into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. John, in his vision, saw the future. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 3 to 4, here we see a time in which the Apostle Paul was writing to the church at Corinth. And it would appear as we read his words that he was somewhat troubled, somewhat concerned. He wrote, but I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety. So your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit, which you have not received, or another gospel, which you have not accepted, you might well bear with him. Or as some versions say, you may well put up with it. 